Finally, I'm back. Back in the class. Seven, eight days back. Gap. You know, last week I didn't teach this class at all. First class. And last week and this week. And um, how was it, Bishara? Did you visit the fair? You can hear me, right? Yes, sir. I can hear. Yes, sir. I can hear. So, how many days did you visit the fair at night? How many nights should I say? Yeah. Yeah. Two nights, one night. You didn't go at all. Where, sir? Did you? Where, sir? Uh, where do people go in the shara? Uh, People go out uh, at night to visit the idols. Yeah, I. I, I the statues. I went to Bihar, uh, I, the decoration I, with friends. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> So, where are all people, sir? Where are all people? First day, they're not here. Okay. <clears throat> so, I had informed the class, the group that the classes would start on Wednesday. Um, today, uh, I think we are going to do this writing section, comparing and contrasting. Yeah. yeah. Words, words like but, however, and although are confused a lot of learners of English. Remember, they they have the say, same meaning, you know, in a sense, but the way they are used is different. Look at the uses in one, two, and three here. The same, you know, sentences have been joined by but, however, and although. I love travel, but I don't like flying. I prefer the train. So there is an idea A and there is an idea B and they contrast each other. There is, I love travel, but I don't like flying. I prefer the train. Hello, Afreen. Good morning. So, morning. Uh, I love travel, but I don't like flying. There are two ideas, they contrast each other. I love travel, but I don't like flying. I prefer the train. The same idea A and B. But this time you see there is no comma. I love travel, and then there's no comma. There is a full stop. I love travel. So technically, the sentences are still separate. I love travel, full stop. However, I don't like flying. I prefer the train. Uh, so we can see that however, technically does not join the sentences. The sentences are still separate. 
So, however, is not a conjunction, if you understand what conjunctions are. Conjunctions join two different sentences, right? They bring them together, make them one sentence. For example, I love travel, but I don't like flying. I have been put together. They are two different sentences, independent sentences. I love travel. I don't like flying. They have been brought together by the word but. So but is a conjunction. However, it's not a conjunction. Because you can still see the full stop. I love travel, full stop, a separate sentence. However, I don't like flying. I prefer the train. Although I love travel, comma. I love travel, I love travel. This time we are using although. And when we used although, but is gone. I don't like flying. Although I love travel, I don't like flying. If you remember these three examples, they can save you from all the future mistakes that you might make, you know, with the, these words, the uses of these words, but, although, however. If somebody writes although and but together in one sentence, they're wrong, obviously, because we use them this way, the way we just saw them here in the examples. Although I love travel, I don't like flying. So when you read all these three examples, you feel that two of them sound more formal than the other, the third, and that is the second and the third, the second and the third sentences, they sound slightly more formal than the first sentence. However and although are not as informal as but. The idea of informal goes very simple. It sounds very simple. Uh, informal, small words are usually informal because they're small. But however, although, which sounds the easiest to, to say, to speak, but it's more common. Informal words are more common as well. You hear them more often. So number two and number three sound formal, okay? Now you're going to join these two sentences in exercise two. There are pairs of sentences, three pairs. You have to join them with but, however, and although. First of all, join them all with the word but, okay? I like Peter. I don't love him. Mujhe pasand hai, lekin mein pyaar nahi karta ya karti usse. I like Peter, but I don't love him. My flat has a balcony, but it doesn't have a garden. My brother is older than me, but he is smaller than me. See, it's very easy now. My brother is older than me, but he is smaller than me. So understand this use of but, okay? It's very easy. You have been using this word but so far without any confusion. Use this as your help. First of all, join them with the word but. Once you're done, now think of using however. Go ahead, Afrim. Go ahead, Sanjeev. Give me your examples with the word however. I like Peter. However, Yeah, I've been you too. And second. I like Peter. However, I don't love. Hmm. Don't don't be and hesitant. Second. Be clear. Be confident. If you are unable to be very confident, okay. sound very confident, right. it means you need more practice, okay? 
Go ahead, carry on. My flat has a My balcony. My flat has a balcony. However, it doesn't However, have a it doesn't have a garden. But the difference is the full stop and the comma. I hope you are the full stop, sir. Yes, aware of the punctuation difference. Observe it. Okay, go on. Last. My brother My older, brother than, older me. than me. However, he is the smaller than me. The smaller than me. Now think of the use of although. Mm. Although I like Peter, I don't love him. Exactly, Sanjeev. Carry on. Yeah. Although my flat but... has a balcony, it doesn't have a garden. Mm -hmm. And third, although my brother's older than me, my brother's older than, older than me. Hmm. Now, can you tell me something from your life with the with the word "but"? However, although something that is true about your life. To help you make it easy, you try to use the word but first. Give me a sentence. Use the word but. Yes, sir. These apples, these apples <laughs> might very red, but they are not very sweet. Some of my friends like a smoke, but I don't like it. Right, well done. Did you hear my example? These apples look very red, but they're not very yeah. sweet. Normally, when you look at red apples, then you think of them as sweet, no? When an apple yeah. is red in color on the outer yeah. red surface, you believe that it should be sweet. I said yeah. they look very red, but they're not very sweet. <clears throat> I had eight days of holidays, but I didn't go out even once. I had eight days of holidays, hmm? a whole week. A full I week. didn't teach. Yeah, the whole week last week, I didn't teach. I had full free time, a lot of free time, but I didn't go out even once. And now I can say these things with the word however as well, you know, the same. These apples look very red, full stop. However, they're not very sweet. I had eight days of holidays last week, full stop. However, comma. 
I didn't what? go out even once. I didn't go out even once. I can use all those well to express the same idea. No, I can say, you know, although yes. these apples look red, look very red. red, comma, they're not very oh. sweet. A lot of students uh, tend we to won't... use all. Yes, Afrin. We have it is holy holiday. However, we didn't have any homework. Hmm. Good. A lot of students tend to make a common mistake. They put but and all the both in the same sentence, like although I love travel, but I don't like flying. Okay. You can kill it, spot that mistake, right? That no, either use but or use the word although, don't use them both. Homework for tomorrow. This text you see, my brothers, read the text. Complete them with these words here in exercise three. However, although, but, so, because, and when. This will be your homework for tomorrow. I have a pair of trousers which look very similar to this guy's trousers. Actually, we have a pair which looks like this one as well, but I don't wear them. My nephew wears them. Nice trousers, comfortable. Going for it. In it 11. Where are the people in the photo? Where are they? They are in Registan, sir. Registan is not an English word. I don't know, sir. They are in desert. They are in the desert, right? Okay. What are they doing? I think they are going somewhere. These people Okay, start a section first. Make sentences. How many sentences can you make? Now the winter season has kind of arrived now. The mornings feel quite yes. cold. But I haven't seen anyone in a sweater yet. My friend came last night with his daughter. He was out to visit the fair. 
he thought maybe I would give him company. But, you know, I was not very well. So I was resting at home, of course. I didn't go with him. When I went out to just see him off, the wind was so cold. Around eight, nine, hmm? between eight and nine. Yeah. It was quite cold at night. We didn't have the fan on in our bedroom last night. And I felt quite cold having a shower this morning. Well, I had to because I wanted to feel fresh. And now, Go ahead, speak out your sentences. Start with the first one. I'm going to work in Moscow. I'm going to work in Moscow next year. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to. Afrin. You said yes. next year. You left soon and after I finished university, you did not use them. Okay, Will you so use I'm them with the iBook? To work in Moscow soon. That's possible, right? Okay. Yes, sir, it is. Sanjeev? Yes, sir. I'm going to work in Moscow soon is correct, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, of course. I'm going to work in Moscow but, soon. But I work in Moscow soon. It incorrect, sir? Yes. Soon refers to? Soon refers to future, sir? Yes. Future in okay. the at the moment of speaking, from that perspective, You see, I became friends very, we, we became friends very soon. We can use it in the past tense as well, no? Yeah. Soon, they started a business. Yes, sir. it is. But here I worked in Moscow soon. Uh, we'll have to try, think very hard to give it a context to make it right. I mean, grammatically, it is correct, my dear students. No, I worked in Moscow soon. Grammatically, it is correct. But to give, make it meaningful semantically, We'll have to try very hard to, you know, find a right context. But I work, I work in, in Moscow. Moscow. Is right. hmm. You guys, which word in Hindi translates as an equivalent to soon? Jaldi, sir. Yes, correct. San Jaldi, na? Jaldi. Yeah. Soon, they became good friends. Jaldi, he bolo bada che dost ban gaya. It didn't take a long time, right? Yeah. Hmm. Instead of worked, if it was, I went to Moscow soon, I got a job in Moscow soon, they all sound very natural, right? Very easy. Very easy to accept as correct English sentence. Meaningful. I got a job in Moscow soon. Makes good sense, right? The word soon 
is an adverb, dear students. It is an adverb of time. Time, yeah. It talks about time, doesn't it, Sanjeev? Afri? Soon mm -hmm. talks about time, now. So it's an yes, adverb sir. of time. Time. Yeah. I will I will get there soon. I'm Turan Ponching. I will get there soon. I will get there soon. In this sentence, I is the subject, a pronoun. Will is a modal verb. Get is a verb. There is an adverb of place. I will get there. Soon. Get soon is an adverb of time. I am going to teach all that stuff, you know, types of adjectives, types of nouns, types of pronouns, all the basic grammar that you need in order to get your, you know, concept right. In my 930 class, we have just finished talking about nouns, five types of nouns. We have just started talking about adjectives. No, 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 no. Nouns, genders. We are talking about noun in terms of gender. Um, masculine gender, feminine gender, and updated information on these things. There are lots of words. You know, they sound as two different words, but they are basically masculine, feminine form of the same noun. Especially when we talk about animals, there are lots of animals' names. Male animals have a different name and female animals. Like you guys know tiger and tigress, very common, easy to guess, tiger, tigress, lion, lioness, easy to guess the meaning. But sometimes there are words like drake and dove. Now, they are not very familiar, uh, very common. So sometimes they these nouns can be a bit tricky. So the course that, uh, that it is uh, called um, Ren and Martin takes care of some common examples that you should know that people often talk about. Anyways, so I'm going to work in Moscow soon. It's important that you guys as a language learner, because you're not kids, you know, you're not class six, seventh students. You don't have so much of time with you. You don't have so much time. Like, you know, class six, seventh students have three, four years just to pass metric to, to do plus two. They have five, six years. They can, they can afford to go slow, learn a language slowly, and they can still kind of be, they can, they'll be fine. You know, they can catch up with the, whole syllabus and stuff. But you guys are adults already. I know, Afrin, you're not preparing learning English to get a job, I guess. You're learning English just to use it in your day-to-day -day life. But it helps, Afrin, to know what I'm talking about. Huh? Soon is an adverb, both of you. Remember that. And it's not something you need to memorize. You can understand, I'm going to work in Moscow. When? Soon. We don't use soon with I worked in Moscow. You say, I visited Moscow soon. I went to Moscow soon. But I got a job uh, in Moscow soon. It all sounds sir, but, absolute. Yes, Sanjeev? But I used to soon after the uh, before the uh, sentence sir, like soon I work in Moscow 
soon I went to work in Moscow sounds better than soon I worked in Moscow, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to make it semantically more, you know, acceptable. Grammatically, it is correct, Sanjeev. Of course, there is no rule that we are violating here. Okay. But, but work has a duration now. Work has a yes, duration, sir. notice. Yeah. Soon is a moment. Okay. You know, so when people say, soon they became friends, it's a short duration. It's not like that. I worked in Moscow. I went to work in Moscow soon. Soon I went to work in Moscow. Absolutely. I know what you're saying, Sanjeev. You know, it just doesn't yes. sound natural. That's all. It sounds absolutely fine grammatically. Soon I worked in Moscow. I went to Okay. Yeah, that sounds more natural. Okay, sir. What about this one? After I finish university, mm. I worked. I am after I finish university. I worked mm. after. And so yes, both of you agree that it should be I worked in Moscow after I finished in university, Moscow. right? Yes, sir. yes, but sir. but tell me one thing, you both, that in the first part we see I worked in Moscow past tense, but in the second yeah. part we don't see the past. I finished. How is it possible? Is I finished past tense? No, it isn't. Then how how do they connect with each other? I worked in Moscow. I worked in Moscow. Mein kaam kiya. After I finished university, if university finished karne ke baad, to university finished kar liya na, past tense hona chahi, where is the past tense? I finished university is past tense. After this. I worked in Moscow after I finished, finished. university. Finished. I worked in Moscow after I finished university. University finished karne ke baad, maine Moscow mein kaam kiya. I worked in Moscow after I finished after university. I finished. So, don't make basic tense mistakes. Okay. You guys thought that I finished doesn't refer to the past time. Carry on. More examples. More sentences in three months' time. Okay, sir. In three months' time. I worked in Moscow in three months' time. Hindi. Hindi of this sentence. Hindi. When I was in Moscow, I was in Moscow. I was in Moscow. I was in Moscow. I was in Moscow. I was in I worked in Dubai for five, five years. Uska kya? Wahan par in to nahi tha. Ya, dekho to, ben worked in Dubai in five years. Toh hi dekho. In five years time. For five years. Dekha tha. Five years. 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 I worked in Moscow in three months' time.
पता है आफरीन एक बात बोलू कुछ स्टूडेंट्स इतने स्टूपिड होते हैं कि वो अपने गलतियों को ना उस तरह से नहीं देखते कि हाँ उनका काम क्या है टीचर का काम क्या है वो ऐसी बेवकूफियां करते हैं ऐसी बेवकूफियां करते हैं कि उनको समझ में नहीं आता कि उनके टीचर उनके मदद के लिए वहां पे वो उनकी मदद करेंगे चाहे उनको डांट के मदद करे चाहे उनको समझा के मदद करे कई बार टीचर्स इज्जतदार होते हैं स्टूडेंट्स की उम्र का ख्याल करके उनको गलत तरीके से नहीं डांटते उनको फिर भी बोलते रहते हैं कि आप मेहनत नहीं कर रहे हो लैंग्वेज लर्निंग एक सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड जॉब मतलब सेल्फ मोटिवेशन का जॉब अगर आप सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड नहीं हो ना हार्ड वर्क के लिए तो कोई फोर्स नहीं कर सकता आप जिस कल्चर में पले बड़े हो आप लोग जहाँ टीचर डांटते हैं पीटते हैं पनिश करते हैं ये उस चीज का काम नहीं है लैंग्वेज लर्निंग डांटना पीटना पनिश करना ये सब चीजें लैंग्वेज लर्निंग में कोई रोल नहीं प्ले करती हैं अगर आप बहुत छोटे बच्चे हो तो हो सकता थोड़ा फर्क पड़ जाए अगर आप उस तरह के कैरेक्टर हो कि आपको डांटने से आप पे असर पड़ता है तो हो सकता है बट अगर आप छोटे बच्चे नहीं तो फिर तो कोई बात ही नहीं है इस तरह की कोई आपको साइकिल चलाने के लिए डांटेगा पीटेगा पनिश करेगा तो आप बेहतर साइकिल चलाओगे मुझे नहीं लगता ऐसा कहीं से भी इंसान के मन में अगर ख्वाहिश है कि मैं साइकिल चलाऊं तो वो गिरता पड़ता है फिर भी बैठता है साइकिल पे <laughs> और जिसके मन में ख्वाहिश नहीं होती साइकिल चलाने की वो क्यों बैठने जाएगा रिस्क लेने जाएगा आया आया आसानी से नहीं, नहीं आया तो क्या मैंने गौर किया कि तुम चार लोगों का जो ग्रुप था मंडली था तुम्हारा और सभा का और क्या नाम है नेहा का और हिना का मैंने महसूस किया तुम चारों ना फालतू बातें करती थी एक दूसरे से जो तुम चारों के लिए अच्छा नहीं था जैसे कि अगर मैं किसी को गलत बोल रहा हूं कि तुमने गलती करी तो ये बोलना तुम पकड़े जाते हो क्योंकि तुम बोल देते हो जैसे इस तरह के ऑब्जर्वेशन मैं बोलूंगा कि नेहा हिना भी बहुत ही टैलेंटेड लड़कियां थी जो इंग्लिश को बहुत आसानी से सीख सकती थी अगर वो लगा देती अपने आप को मैंने हिना को इस ग्रुप में इनवाइट किया अभी तक उसने ज्वाइन नहीं किया है पता है तुम्हें और नेहा ने कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं दिखाया ठीक आप आगे क्या करना है उसको इस बारे में जब इजन करना है नहीं करना है क्योंकि मैंने महसूस किया कि उसने उतना नहीं सीखा है जबकि वही गुलाबसा जो है गुलाबसा उसकी भाभी वो सीख रही है अपना क्लास ज्वाइन करके मेहनत कर रही है शुरू से कर रही है वैसे अब वो बंद कर दे कोई करना तो मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ दोस्तों लेकिन अभी जो तुमने गलती की है इन थ्री मंथ्स टाइम तो ये तुम्हें देखना होगा ना कि तुम ऐसा क्यों करती हो एक बात यहाँ पर ऐसे सीखती हो फॉर फाइव इयर्स पांच साल काम किया उसने और यहाँ तुम कहती हो इन थ्री मंथ्स टाइम तीन महीने काम किया तो ये तुम्हारी खुद की गलती है इसको तुम्हें खुद करेक्ट करना है ना कोई इसमें कुछ कर नहीं सकता अगर तुम कभी चार पांच नौ को नौ बोलोगे फिर छ और आठ को नौ बोलोगे तो कोई कुछ कर नहीं सकता मेरे दोस्त तुम्हें खुद दिमाग में बना के रखना होगा चीजों को और ये पहली दफा नहीं है कि मैंने ऐसे देखा है लड़कियों को मेरी फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स को बेवकूफी करते हुए पढ़ाई को पढ़ाई ना देख करके सीखना ना देख करके किसी और एंगल से देखना किसी चीज को बहुत सी चीजें मैं महसूस करता हूँ फ्रीन बोलता नहीं क्योंकि मुझे लगता है मेरे काम का चीज नहीं है मैं क्यों बात करूँ उस बारे में लेकिन अभी तुमने जब गलती की तो मैंने ये बता दिया है तुम दोनों को ही बोल देना चाहूंगा संजीव और आफरीन अगर तुम दोनों का इरादा है प्री इंटरमीडिएट क्लास ज्वाइन करने का तो मैं कहूंगा ज्वाइन कर लो अभी ठीक है रिविजन क्लास करते रहना अभी जहाँ हम लोग जहाँ पर अटके हुए हैं जिस जगह पे प्री इंटरमीडिएट में प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट शुरू होने वाला है कुछ दिनों में और तुम्हें पता है कि प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट पे ही मैं खत्म करता हूँ एलिमेंट्री कोर्स तो एक बहुत अच्छा कनेक्शन मिलेगा इफ इन केस यू गाइज आर इंटरेस्टेड अगर तुम लोग को इंटरेस्ट हो आगे कंटिन्यू करने में तो ज्वाइन कर लेना बाकी आ, मैं इस कोर्स को तो कंटिन्यू करूंगा ही कंप्लीट करने तक और टाइमिंग वुड बी द सेम सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन दी इवनिंग सिक्स टू सेवन थर्टी ये मेरा बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज है आफरीन कि अगर कोई स्टूडेंट ना सीखे कोई चीज मेहनत नहीं कर रहा है नहीं हो रहा है तो उसको अपने आप से बातचीत करनी चाहिए ईमानदारी से अपने आप को ढाल दे के बात नहीं करनी चाहिए ठीक 
और मैं तो ऐसा मानता हूँ कि सिंपल सी बात है अगर आप इनफ टाइम दोगे इनफ एफर्ट्स डालोगे तो कोई ऐसे चीज तो है नहीं जो लोगों ने किया नहीं है इंसान साधारण इंसान ही करते हैं तुम लोगों ने जितना अपने आप को इम्प्रूव किया है उतना मेहनत किया उतना इम्प्रूव किया राइट right? अगर और मेहनत कर दोगे और इम्प्रूव कर जाओगे कौन सी बड़ी चीज है इसमें इसमें ऐसे रॉकेट साइंस तो है नहीं कोई मुझे मेरे नजर में हाँ एक बात जरूर है कि तुम ऐसे माहौल से आते हो जहाँ इंग्लिश को इतना ज्यादा माता हुआ बना दिया जाता है ना सिर पे तुम्हारे कि सीखने पे भी सिर बड़ा पागल हो जाता है और ना सीखने पे फ्रस्ट्रेशन भी उतना ही आता है और मैं चाहता हूँ शांत दिमाग रख के सीखे हम लोग दोनों में से किसी भी मोमेंट पे हम लोग ये ना हो क्या कहते हैं उसको आ, आ, उसको क्या कहते हैं अपना आपा ना खोए अपना इकोनमिटी बनाए रखे दोनों ही स्थिति में ना भी हो रहा तो पर भी कोशिश करेंगे और हो जाए तब पर भी अच्छी बात है आगे कोशिश करें और ज्यादा जानने की ओवर जॉइड होना यू नो ओवरवेल्म हो जाना वो मेरे ख्याल से समझदारी नहीं है कहीं से भी और जहां तक मैं समझता हूँ हर एक इंसान को अपने बारे में डिसीजन लेना होता है तो ये जो है ना ग्रुप में बात करके डिसाइड करना जैसे मैंने सुना जो भी सुना जाना उसके हिसाब से बोल रहा हूं कि ये अच्छी चीज नहीं है ये सब चीजों से ये तुम दोस्त परिवार में कुछ कर सकते हो सीखना सीखने का कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है तुम्हारी बातचीत से तुम्हारे गॉसिप से एक पैसा नहीं तुम जितना सीखे हो जितना मेहनत किए तुम उतना सीखे जो जितना मेहनत करेगा वो उतना सीखेगा और हाँ सबका अपना दिमाग भी होता है कितना तेजी से वो काम करता है तुम यहाँ पर थ्री मंथ इन थ्री मंथ टाइम को और फॉर थ्री मंथ दोनों को एक जैसा समझ गई अगर लिखा होता है ना बेटा आई वर्क इन मॉस्को फॉर थ्री मंथ तो होता कि तीन महीने काम किया मैंने यहाँ लिखा है वर्क इन मॉस्को इन थ्री मंथ टाइम इन थ्री मंथ टाइम का मतलब होता है तीन महीने बाद जैसे हम बोले हम तुम्हें यार पैसे लौटा देंगे आई विल रिटर्न योर मनी इन थ्री मंथ टाइम हम तीन महीने में पैसे तुम्हारे लौटा देंगे ठीक है तो आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क इन मॉस्को इन थ्री मंथ टाइम इज द राइट सेंटेंस और आफरीन हम लोग ये कुछ ही दिन पहले पढ़े ना शाम वाले क्लास में इसलिए मैं उम्मीद नहीं कर रहा हूँ बेटा तुमसे गलतियों की लेकिन अगर हो रही हैं तो थोड़ा और मेहनत करो कोशिश करो कि क्यों हो रही है गलतियां जानने की कहाँ पर तुम्हारा लूप होल है जहां से चीजें निकल जा रही हैं थोड़ा और मेहनत करो बेटा फिर कल मिलते हैं हम लोग ओके ओके सर बाय गुड डे